Guys, welcome back to the third part of the building a Discord bot with Golang series. In this video, we have to start writing our bot.go file. So let's get started. So I'll say package bot and I'll be importing a couple of things. One of them will be the format package and we'll have to import the config file. So which reminds me, I have not uh, initialized uh, this uh, project right we have not done go mod in it so what i'll do is i'll take you back to the powershell right and now what we'll do here is we'll say go mod in it and we'll say github.com slash akhil slash discord ping all right and uh, we can say go mod tidy obviously and there's one package that I need, like I showed you in the previous video, that we need that Discord Go package, right? So we're going to say go get github.com slash wmarin slash discord go. So it is added that. So I'm not sure if this is the one bwmarin. Yeah, there's double R here. Just make sure in discord go. So we have that package now. I think we can now switch back to our um, code editor. Not sure if you can see the code editor. Uh, let me try switching it back on again. Yeah, now you can see it. Uh, so here I want to import my config file. So what I'll do is I'll say discord uh, the name of the project I gave it was discord ping, right? So I'll say discord ping slash config. And I'll say github.com slash bwmarin slash discord go. Okay. So far, so good. And now we start writing the actual code. So we need a variable called bot id which will be string and we have a variable called go bot sorry in the next line variable called go bot which will be of type session discord go dot session okay and basically in our go bot we want to uh, when we create a new bot, right, a new session, we want to store it in our GoBot, right? That's what. That's why we have to create this variable called GoBot. And for the bot ID, we'll basically we have to, if if we want our bot to actually exist as a user in our channel and want to reply to us, we obviously have to provide it an ID, right? So let's say func start. Now, in case you're wondering what func start is, let me first correct the spellings. Yeah, so if you're wondering what func start is, it's basically the same function that we had in our main.go file, right? So we had funks this start, right? Bot.start. So that means that we can uh, import our config and uh, bot folders here. So uh, let's do that. So that these two squiggly lines will go away. Because now we have actually started writing those files. So we'll say github.com slash akhil slash discord ping slash bot, right? For the bot folder and the bot file. And we'll say github.com slash akhil slash discord ping slash config for the config folder in the config file, right? So now let, if we save this, uh, I'm trying to save it. So if we save this, then the squiggly lines will go away like you see right now, right? So main.go file is sorted. You don't have to do anything here. In the config file, uh, I don't think you need any other packages. So this is also sorted. In the bo bot file, uh, you have these packages and that's all we needed. And now we'll get back to working on our start function. Uh, so we'll say, so we'll say discord go dot new to create the new session. And here we'll pass our config dot token, right? So in our main file, we're able to get uh, the con uh, sorry in our config file, we're able to get uh, the tokens right towards the end. So that's the uh, token that we have to use here, right? So config.token. 
and this will help us start a session. So as you remember, uh, where, where are we storing the session? We're storing it in GoBot variable. So we'll say GoBot. And the other thing it returns is an error, right? So we'll say GoBot an error is equal to discord, discord go dot new, And we'll pass the token here. And this will help us create the bot session, right? And if there is an error, which means if error not equal to nil, then we'll just print out the error. Print error dot error and we'll return from here okay and now so there's a squiggly line here because we have defined gobot and we have not used it but soon we'll use it and now we have to create the bot as a user so we'll say user is equal to and user an error go bot dot user And if there is an error for this, so for each statement, we are handling errors, which is a good practice, right? That just makes sure that you won't have any errors. So we'll say print ln error dot error. All good here. And now, since we have our user, right? And we have, uh, we want to store our, uh, we want to get the ID of this user and store it in our bot ID. So we'll say bot ID equal to u dot ID. All right. And the other uh, function from the go bot library from this discord go library that we want to use is the add handler function. And here we'll call a function called message handler that and this function is something that we're going to write right now. So don't get confused. Uh, we have not written this function yet. So we'll be writing this function it will be a complete function that will help us to read commands and also to send messages back. Okay, so all so what we're doing is we're using uh, this function called new, right from that discord go package. We are using user we're using ad handler, right? So new creates a session user creates a user and gets us the user ID and ad handler uh, creates a handler that helps us to read and write messages to the channel. Okay, so I hope everything is uh, clear till now. So after you have handled, added the handler, you have to say error is equal to go bot dot open. Right, starts the session. And so we've created a session, but open is the function that actually starts the session. Okay, and we'll say fmt dot print ln error dot error return fmt dot print ln oh, as it saves print it's actually print print ln okay and we'd like to output bot is running So, so far so good. So we have our uh, start function in place. So we have a squiggly line here. It says message handler is not defined and but that's not a problem because we are actually going to write our message handler function right now. And uh, so till now we have used this add handler, open, user and new and all these functions. In, and like I showed you in the first video, you can, or in the second video, actually, you can always go to the discord go package in uh, on github and actually check out these functions and what they do right so nothing very confusing what i've done for you is basically i've uh, removed or i've reduced the time for you to actually go and read about these uh, functions and actually how to use them uh, so what we'll do now is we'll say func message handler and s discord go dot session okay and M, which is Discord Go dot message create. So I don't see that function here in the auto fill. So I'll have to write it manually. Discord Go dot message create. All right. So we're creating this message handler function here. So that's why all the errors have gone away. Uh, and here. Now, there's one thing we need to do, right? So in all uh, bots, like let's say Slackbot or Discord bot, when 
uh, when you define a lot of commands right sometimes uh they could be commands the, the the answers could actually be confused as commands by the bot right so what we need to do is we need to make sure if uh the author dot id author of the message is not equal to uh, the bot ID. That means that bot does not start confusing the messages that it is uh, sending itself, right? As the messages that are coming as commands. So otherwise, it will go into a uh, like a forever loop. So this is a very common practice. I mean, don't get confused here. This is a very very common code you'll see in almost all Slack and uh, Discord bots, right? So if uh, the uh, the author ID of the message that's coming here is equal to the bot ID, then return. Don't do anything because that's a message that you only sent as the bot, right? So don't do anything. Otherwise, if the content, uh, yeah, in all other cases where you know this is not equal, then, and if the content is pink, which is going to be our command that we'll send it right now, then all you have to do is s channel and message send. And here we'll have the uh, channel ID on which you have to reply and the response that you want to send. So in my case, I want to send the response pong. You can send anything that you want. You can define the command also, uh, anything that you like. So, uh, but we also have to capture these values. Now, since we don't want to capture it in actual variables and do anything with those values, we'll just put these blank descriptors here. And uh, everything else looks good. But, uh, you know, I know that there will be errors for sure so let me just go through the complete code again you can do that as well in your own code if you are coding along with me just go through the entire code and see if there uh, there could be any places of error uh, any typos any silly mistakes uh, but even even if i check all of that i know there will be errors i i must have missed something so you can just take two minutes and go through the entire code um, so the error has been printed out properly i have taken the id Message handle is proper, go bot open, and bot is running. And this also seems to be all right. So our uh, bot file looks okay. Config file, I am not so sure. Config file, tick, 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 tick. Config struct and read config. And you have your print and unmarshalling, and your tokens and return nil. And main.go file actually doesn't have much, right? It just has uh, these two functions calls to these two functions that is it so what you can do is we can actually try running this program you know I know there will be errors we'll solve it together not a problem so let's go back head over back to our uh, PowerShell so we are back in our PowerShell and let's try building it let's see what it says so there's no issues right now so we'll say go run main.go Will it run? I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's saying there's some kind of an error, right? So it says unmarshal nil star config struct, right? So we have to go back to our code and actually try. So back in our VS code, now we'll have to start and try and look for the error. Um, yeah, so I think I have I have one particular, at least one issue I've found is that we have to f uh, pass a reference here to config and not config uh, itself. So this is a mistake that I made. Always an unmarshal function. You have to pass the reference, right? So I found one mistake. And now let's also go to our bot.go because I'm expecting more issues to be there. Um, yeah, so in the discord go uh, dot new function, in this library called discord go, you have to have a space here after bot, just one space, right? I don't know why, why they've uh, kept this, but there's there has to be like one little space here and uh, only then it'll work. So I just uh, referred the document again and then, uh, you know, you just make sure you put one space here, right? Uh, I know it's a, it's a very weird thing. I mean, I also didn't understand why there's a space there, but uh, that's what you have to do. So make sure you put a space here and make sure you put a uh, ampersand here and then everything should work hopefully so now let's head back to our powershell and let's see what happens so we'll say go build and we'll say go run main dot go and here we can see our config file reading config file and the config file itself 
so let me do one thing i'll actually take you to the uh code window and show you this file right see so we read uh, our config file and we uh, assigned that to a variable called file and then we actually printed out the file as a string in our terminal so that's why we can see that entire config file in our terminal right so i hope you now understand what this is and now what we'll do is we'll head over to our browser uh, yeah so now you can see my browser and let's go to our ping bot and let's uh, so if you go back to our, to your channel, right, the channel uh, being this one. So if you uh, try and find ping bot, which is this, and you say ping, it'll say pong back, right? So Discord bot works uh, fine now. Everything works perfectly, right? And so I hope uh, you've learned something in this video. And this was the final video. We've made the uh, Discord bot. And now uh, in the, in the upcoming videos, we'll, we'll start creating more complicated Discord bots, right? Uh, bots that can forecast weather, that can tell us whether it is in which city and currency converters and, uh, you know, uh, even even bots that can work with Jira and Trello. So let's uh, let's start that, you know, in the next coming week. Uh, so if you're new to this channel, do subscribe because uh, we I keep coming up with this kind of stuff, uh, interesting stuff that you build uh, on our channel. And uh, thank you for watching. Thanks a lot.